Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a tour of the Lightroom Capture Experience. So I could simply click on the capture icon, the camera icon in the lower right hand corner. However, I want to capture some images and put them into a specific collection at the same time. So I've already created a collection called Still Life. I'm going to tap that collection in order to enter into it. And now when I tap on the camera icon in the lower right hand corner, when I make an image, Lightroom will not only import it to Lightroom proper into the All Photos area, but also into this collection. Let's take a look at some of the different camera options. In the upper left, we can, of course, cancel out of here. Next to that, I have some flash options, which I've turned off. Then across the top, I have my DNG options. I'm going to leave this set to DNG, although it's going to give me a larger file size. I'm perfectly okay with that because I want the added quality that I'll have, the extra information so that if I need to make a refinement to my image, I have a little bit more overhead to play with. Whereas if I were to set that to JPEG, even though it'd be a smaller file, I'd be a little bit more limited in the corrections I could make because that would be an already compressed file. All right, in the upper right hand corner, of course, I can always switch the camera to take a selfie, I'm going to skip that for now and go directly to those three dots. Here I can change the different aspect ratios that I'm capturing. I can choose to set a self timer. I can also choose to overlay a grid as well as add a level if I want to. For now, I will disable both of those. And under the gear icon there, I can choose maximum screen brightness if I want to. I prefer to leave that off, but I will enable the geotagging of the photos. All right, in the lower right, I can choose a number of different presets that I can apply to the image on import. These presets, of course, are also non-destructive, so if I choose to change my mind later, I could go ahead and reset the file. For now, I'll just turn that off. Next to that, I have my lock option. This will lock exposure. And next to that, I can toggle between the telephoto and the wide angle option on this camera. Now, those are more of the automated features. If I tap on Auto, I can select Professional. Now, I have a number of different options where I can actually manipulate, for example, the exposure here. So I can take down or increase exposure. If I want to reset it, I just double click on the slider. I can change the seconds here or the shutter speed. Again, I would just drag this slider across in order to change that. I can also change the ISO. I can change the white balance. And one of the options here, this eyedropper, I can tap on that and then fill it with a neutral surface in order to create a custom white balance. To the right of that is probably the feature I like the most. This will enable me to determine what in my image is in focus. And as I move the slider, we can watch as either the apple in the foreground or the pear in the background is in focus. So here I've got the pear and I can slide that over to the apple. So nice way to control the depth of field in your image. And of course, I can reset all of those at any time by just tapping on Reset. So let me just take a very simple photograph here, and then I'll tap on the X, and we can see that that image is in the collection. And of course, if we return to our main screen, we can see that it has also been added to our All Photos view. And if you have a subscription to Creative Cloud for Photography or Creative Cloud Complete, then of course all of the photographs that you're taking here using Lightroom Mobile are automatically synchronized with Lightroom on the desktop. My name is Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.